<laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and that's how we begin today. With uh, some uh, banter that was just off the air. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to the Friday edition of the Opie and Anthony Show. Good morning. Attention all ONA listeners. Attention all ONA listeners. Wake up, whoever you know, and tell them to listen to the radio. Ant's got something to say at 7 o'clock. <laughs> I must address these um, allegations. allegations. Apparently, a little story in Russian Malloy about the uh, Jill Nicolini Anthony Cumia uh, ex relationship. It's a nice seems, picture. Seems Russian Malloy. Has got, I think that was actually taken at uh, F. H. Riley's. Uh, what's F. H. Riley's, Anthony? It's a lovely restaurant right there in the heart of Huntington Village. I believe it's 400 New York Avenue. Yeah. Yeah. But I believe that's where the picture was taken. It's in Russian Malloy. That's the uh, no, it's funny. gossip section of uh, the Daily News. That's my brother's restaurant. It is a great joint. I'll be there all weekend, by the way. Sure. Um, no, I will. Did these little uh, streets we're eating come from there? Well, Jimmy, look at me getting some plugola. I'm, I'm honestly what? shoving... Little delicious treats. I never eat this. This is my so. sister Holly's uh, desserts. I did not bring this in. I swear for like cheap plugs. It it was uh, some leftover stuff that she brought into the city yesterday. Didn't and yes, she wanted plugs. I'm hungry. They were delicious. And she uh, she makes all the desserts for like pretty much pretty much all of Huntington. And she makes the desserts for F H Riley's. She uh, she's uh, behind the bar mm. mixing the drinks. So. So you might want to ask her about her desserts. We're trying to. Yeah. We're actually going to try to open up some kind of dessert shop uh, in the Huntington area. It, it, it's that damn good, right? Yes, yeah, really. Right, right. Rock walked yeah. over and uh, he holds out. It's, it's so cute. It's like a little basket of treats. Yeah. And uh, I'm eating one, and then Rock walks over, and the consummate salesman holds up the basket and goes, "Do you want some fatty?" <laughs> <laughs> Poor Eric. Poor Eric really wanted some, but he goes, well, "Want that, some fatty?" Took some anyway. Rock is a gumption. <laughs> yeah, he certainly does. Did you try uh, any Iraq? Uh, no, you didn't try? try yeah, try one, yeah, Patty. Just try one. Oh, yeah. have it. It's not going to... What is it going to do? Exactly. Really, at this point. Yeah. At the, yeah. <laughs> I'll even have one with you. Really? <laughs> it's like putting an eyedropper in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> see what he's... Wow. All right. <laughs> see what I'm trying to get to? Oh, well. No, they're they're ridiculous. I, I hate when my sister brings over this stuff because I don't want to eat it. Yeah. You know? Anyway, um, Anthony's getting his thoughts together. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Actually, oh, what that yeah. means is we want to do this when a lot more people are listening. Of course we do. So it goes down at 7. It goes down at 7. Uh, a couple of things that uh, will be addressed. All right. At 7. Because, you know, uh, people might want to know what the what the deal is. But uh, What's the haps? But what's the haps? Sure. Uh, apparently, Russian Malloy, mm -hmm. the gossip, the gossip column in the New York Daily News uh, has a little picture and a nice size uh, story about the shenanigans that yeah. went on yeah. uh, at the end of our uh, little relationship. Yeah. Uh, and as an added bonus, I hold here in my hand an email, one of, I guess, many that is being sent out to people from Jill Nicolini. I got five. You have five. I got five of them. Yeah. No, the same one you got, but I yeah, got, yeah. I had it sent to me by five different people. It's, it's yeah, so yeah, this thing is yeah. being uh, being sent around. Anthony, you know what we could do? Let's why don't we at least uh, start by reading what Russian Malloy is saying today, without allowing you to comment, and then you oh. will have your comments oh, at seven o'clock. Oh Jesus! And you'll also uh, uh, comment on the email. I'm going to need you one of those. Your hands. One of those ball gags, like Marsalis <laughs> Wallace was wearing, in order to keep my mouth shut as these are being read. There's can you try glaring can you, inaccuracies? Can you try? Can you try not to comment? I can try. All right. So uh, today in uh, the Daily News, Rush and Malloy, Anthony caught. In what the a dance. bunch of crap! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh! Today's the day to listen. We had a great week of radio. Before today, and watch what happens today. Uh, Anthony caught in the jam. There's a fine little picture of you and Jill. Yes. Happier times. I would uh, guess. Like uh, you said, it does look uh, very, 
Very happy. That is the famous uh, brick wall at F.H. Riley's. Certainly is. By the way, I was there uh, last week, and uh, my brother bought a lot of really nice wine for you and Jill. Oh, well, I'll and, still go down there and drink it. And, uh, and down in the basement, there's still a bunch of really nice bottles of wine waiting, Good. waiting for you guys to come back, which is well, never, ever, ever going to happen. I will absolutely uh, go and drink it in celebration that I don't have to deal with her. All right. Anthony caught in the jam. This is what Rush and Malloy are, are saying today. Only if they had a rabbit in a pot could the breakup of Jill Nicolini and Anthony Cumia be more dramatic. <laughs> I'll be quiet. <laughs> it's kind of funny, though, right? Funny yeah. one. Uh, the misbehaving half of Opie and Anthony. Hey, I like that. I like that a lot. Confessed on his K-Rock radio show yesterday that the TV traffic babe caught him in bed with a 20-year-old blonde. Guess that's misbehaving. I like this comment, but I'll wait. Okay. Uh, I was participating. This is Anthony speaking, obviously. I was participating in some extracurricular activities with another female, Anthony said. She went into the closet. I got dressed, and Jill came in. She opened the closet door and saw the girl. A source tells us the woman waved and said, I've been effing him for three weeks. <laughs> Jesus. And then Anthony ran to his night table and took the ammo clip out of his gun. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> oh, we got to get an edit. I'm not supposed to comment. No comments until 7 o'clock. And then, and then you comment on the email, too, that we yeah. got today. Uh, we got to get an edited version of, uh, ah, you're crazy. Let's work on a, uh, an edit of that. Hey, you're crazy, bitch. Yeah. That's yep. Uh, so there you go. You took the ammo clip out of your, uh, out of your gun. That's terrific, Ann. Uh Jill then t took off in my Escalade, Anthony added, but she returned the next day and took some items. She found some things that belonged to the girl, and these were taken out to my nice new fire pit, thrown in there and burned to a crisp. They didn't mention the dead guy ashes, by the way. No, they didn't mention a few things, right, which I, I need to clear up later in, in, the, in the program, I guess. 7 o'clock. Yes. 7 o'clock on the nose, it goes down. Yeah. We're not going to mess around with this one. You know how we could tease stuff for months and months nope. and months? We started storylines two years ago. People are waiting for the answer, too. We are 50, 50 minutes away. See? Stunt brain, you keep, uh, you keep count, all right? I don't care what's going down at 7. Yeah. I need to comment. Yeah, and I think today is the day Anthony completely loses his mind. I encourage all ONA uh, fans to call other ONA fans and make sure they're listening today. Because just put it this way. I've held back. I've been holding back. You were trying to be a nice guy. I was not. being a nice guy, and I have held back. Ah, get off the screen! Get off the screen! What are you doing? You liar! <laughs> She's smiling at you. <laughs> yeah. Get off! <laughs> Jill's on TV right now, of course. All yes. right. A friend of Nicolini's told us she was simply picking up her own clothes. Oh, simply? And oh, up, 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 up. Okay. 7 oh. o'clock. 49 minutes to go. 49 minutes. All right. Well, uh, I've seen other people simply pick up stuff. It doesn't involve a blaze in the backyard, but <laughs> I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait. A friend of Nicolini's told us she was simply picking up her own clothes and found that the woman had basically moved in. And, well, what would you do? So liar, she, liar, all the clothes are on fire. <laughs> <laughs> so she's basically admitting that she uh, burned the clothes in that statement, right? Jill had taken the woman's laptop and returned to Tuesday, but had a friend check the hard drive. Bad news for Anthony. The girl is a member of a porn site. 20-year-old girl that's on porn sites? Where's my problem? <laughs> a member of a porn site? I'm a member of, like, 30. <laughs> I watch a lot of porn. Who cares? And um, yes, it is found. <laughs> yes, you can link to her. We'll yes, going to buy tickets please. to the Opie and Anthony event. <laughs> <laughs> you have to click through it each time you want anything pertinent to the Opie and Anthony show. Her vagina is obscured by the Foundry logo. Yes, the Foundry <laughs> logo. And some Greek hieroglyphics, some some old Roman wall paintings and caveman wall paintings that spell out Opie and Anthony at the top. It looks like white ragweed at the top. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. All right, so the girl's a member of a porn site. And then the best revenge, 
This is weird. Uh, you can't comment until 7, though. Yeah. Uh, Jill now dates handsome hedge fund manager Joseph whatever. What is what what is it? Uh, Joseph uh, D. Virgilio. Another wop. D. Virgilio. She loves D. her. She loves her guineas. <laughs> so at seven, we'll reread this article with yeah. your, with your comments. Uh -huh. You will add your other things, and you will also comment on the email that's been uh, making the rounds. Ron from Ron and Fez actually uh, stopped me on the street yesterday after our show. Oh, he did. See, the old days, yeah, we used to do crossovers on the air. Yeah. Now we do crossovers in the street. In the street, we chit-chat. We chit-chat. Those chit-chats would be on the radio, but unfortunately, there's like an hour between the two shows. Yeah. So we had a little chit-chat, and he, he basically said, I got something, and I don't... I, he what? goes, I don't even know. What did he, what he said, I'm an adult, and he goes, I'm an adult, and I'm uncomfortable with this. Yeah, so I'm going to pass it on to you. And pass I go, it on. I go, oh, the email? Yeah. I said, well, <clears throat> you'll be yes. the fifth person that uh, sent it to me. And there is an email that I must read uh, later on, which contains uh, many glaring omissions yeah. of uh, certain things in order to um, <laughs> make uh, make it look like uh, she had no nothing bad going on. Yeah. And uh, you're getting sued. I'll add oh, in some. <laughs> sorry. I'll add in some um, some a few details. Of what, well, a few little special, special things of what it was like dating Jill Nicolini. Oh my God. Wow. You're not going there. Oh my God. I'm oh pulling out God. all oh the God. stops. Oh, you're not going there. Please go there. My, oh my, my God. I can't <clears throat> believe you would they will be, go there. When are you going to do this? Oh they will my be my, God, my observations. This is not something you really... What time will you... My do? observations. Oh, God, don't do this. Please. My personal um, opinions on certain things and um, things that happen, factual things that happened that uh, I will I will completely explain. All the stops come out. I dropped the atom bombs today because, uh, because I'll tell you, there are some just... Outright lies in this email that I guess she's sending out to people that email her. People email her, and she's got like I guess a uh, basic <coughs> copy paste yeah. response. Yeah, uh, <coughs> that um, I see some uh, inaccuracies in. Yeah, which I will I will clear up. Uh, when is he clearing it up, Stunt Brain? Six minutes. 46, 46 minutes, minutes, I will clear it up, unlike I was able to clear up my sheets one night. Whoa! What is that about? I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Oh, no. I I, I can't believe you would go go there today. Oh, I'm going everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's say hi to Joe and uh, NB. NB would be... Uh, um, uh, Nebraska. I'm going to go with New Brunswick. All right. Uh, Joe in New Brunswick, how are you? North ya? Buffalo. North hey, Buffalo. what's happening, That would be guys? Canada, Jimmy. Oh. <laughs> what's up, Joe? Near... B hey, uh, not much. <laughs> I'm just driving to work. I know. How many NB jokes can I we know, but I couldn't think of a B place. It's Nebraska. <laughs> a B place. We know oh, it's yeah, Nebraska, man. but that's just boring, uh, so we, we have try to... Oh, here and right, electricity you talk as well. North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> uh, glad I quit. <laughs> 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 Hey. Yeah. I swear to God, I almost said near what, Ben Shura in California. <laughs> of course. Yeah. yeah. Guess we're all glad you quit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I want to thank Anthony for deciding to actually, uh, you know, bring some of the juice to his own radio show instead of waiting to, well, you know, spill the beans on another radio show. You're learning finally after 14, 15 years. Hey, if this that email this stuff would be good for your own radio show. If this email uh, slipped uh, out at about noon, yeah, this would all be on the Ron and Fez show. Oh man, don't say that. Ronnie's gonna kick himself. And down. it is Friday, so uh, I might end up on the Ron and Fez show later used, on. That used to be my gig. What? I used to do Fridays with Ron and Fez. We all did. That's why it was called the Afro Show. Anthony Fez, Ron, Opie. Right. <laughs> Joe, Nebraska. <laughs> Yeah. What's up? Hey, man, my buddy's crazy bitch ex-wife. Yeah. Burned a bunch of clothes of his and, and a bunch of clothes of his ex-girlfriends. She got charged with arson. You know, just throwing that out there, and she got charged and convicted. Ended up spending like a year in jail or some shit for that. Oh, well, really? Or some stuff. Yeah. 
you know, when somebody takes your laptop or your vehicle and everything else, even if the keys are in it, I mean, it's still joyriding. Well, that's what after, huh? I. Uh, that's why I, I think Anthony's going to lose his mind today because he could have done a lot of uh, a lot of things that he chose yeah, not yeah, to. Dude. I am yeah. not going to, dude. I am not the type of guy that would call the authorities and have anybody arrested for something like this. What I do is I gather up all the info. I find the um, on top of a building and a I, sniper, right? No, I find the the <laughs> lies, the um, the uh, fabrications, and I just take some facts, the from from times during the relationship, and I unload. That's what I do now. That's what I do. And when is that going down, Stump Brain? Forty-three minutes from right now, uh, Anthony's going to have a lot to say and a lot to comment minutes. about. I will talk about. Uh, I'll read this email. Can you give us a, a, another tease? Another tease. Yeah. All right. Something you might want to. Uh... We'll be talking breasts. Oh no. Oh no. That's all I'm saying. Oh no, Jimmy. That's all I'm saying. That sounds sexy. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. <laughs> I like the first thing in pal talk says, uh oh. <laughs> Just uh oh. Uh, you might want to wake up the ONA community. This is one that's uh, for the ages. Starting, oh, at, yeah. starting at seven? Uh, yes. It goes down at seven. I must. And this is one of those, uh, it'll definitely go down at seven, not. Oh, we don't have time. We have to wait till Monday or Tuesday. No, that, no. I can't hold this back I'm any not, longer. I'm not going to lie to you. That would be great for the radio show if we just tease this for, for the next week or so. But it, it definitely goes down. No. 40. Oh, look. We got the official clock. Uh, look, it's on the iPhone, Ant. We got we got an app. Hey, there it is. We got a nice uh, digital app. That's digital app. Right at 7 o'clock, okay? Yep. All right, we're taking our first break. 877-212-ONA. We got an update on the crab apple tree, old uh, old broads. Yeah, yeah, a story out of Boston, huh? Busted. Y'all crazy bitch, but you so good I'm on top of it when I dream. I'm doing you all night. Stretches off down my back to keep her on. Hey, y'all crazy bitch, but you so good I'm on top of it when I dream. I'm doing you all night. Stretches off down my back to keep her on. You're checking out the Opie and Anthony show. A special opiate Anthony show today. Ah, what happened, Anthony? What I just happened? looked at the TV. Ah, do you still believe she's giving you hidden messages? Yes, you do, huh? Yeah. There's hidden messages going on. If you're just uh, tin foil hat. If you're just tuning in, you were probably uh, woken up by a member of the ONA community. We're encouraging all members of the ONA community to wake up, ONA listeners. Yeah. Uh, Ant's finally had it. The whole uh, Antolini thing has been a wonderful, wonderful ride for everybody. Has it? It really has. <laughs> From where I sit, it's been unbelievable. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's been a what, like a four month, five wow. month cavalcade of adventure. It's it's amazing, and uh, I think it culminates uh, today finally, right? I thought it was over yesterday. I'm not going to lie to you. You really spilled your guts about the breakup and how it all went down and. Well and, then, uh, and clothes getting burned, and then we learned yesterday that not only were clothes being burned, that uh, there was dead guy ashes in your fire pit that were also burned that should have been burned because it was special to somebody that you know. And yes, and, and then there was a computer stolen that was given back to you yesterday, and then you found out there was some CSI crap going on because uh, uh, Jill wanted to find out what was on this computer on the hard drive, so she uh, had it uh, analyzed. Yeah, and had information taken off the hard drive. Yeah, but there wasn't much on there anyway. And uh, now you're in the Daily News. A nice picture of you and Jill uh, enjoying a fine dinner at F.H. Riley's. Oh, yeah. My brother's joined in uh, Huntington Village. Anyone can go there and just have a good time. Yes. That's what it is. Yes. And uh, they uh, they wrote a nice little article that we're going to reread at 7, and then uh, you you finally get to comment about this whole and thing. And there's an email. An email. That uh, I, apparently Jill is sending out yeah. to people to give her side yeah. of this uh, whole thing, and um, uh, I don't know. There, there's there's things in here that just aren't true. There's things that are left out to make it look like you know she was 
doing one thing when, meanwhile, it was another thing. Uh, it'll all be clear um, in uh, less than a half an hour. And some of the things you were uh, going to hold back with, you, you're not going to hold back with today, right? Uh, I was being what is called a, uh, a gentleman. I don't do that very often. <laughs> Ah, you're more but, of a gentleman than you think. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, but but after reading uh, this email, um, I have to. I gotta just, you know, the Bombay doors of the Enola Gay open wide. <laughs> you need a what, there what? it is, primary target Hiroshima. Where's Anthony's? Uh, what is it called? A pilf? A pilf hel helmet? A pith helmet? A pith. That's why I said, what is it? A pilf? It the... is a, a pith helmet. The target was obscured with clouds, but now it seems to be very clear. The pilot now hands the controls over to the bombardier. And there she goes. The first atomic bomb has been released. <laughs> That's what's happening at 7. How many minutes, Stump Brain? Uh, 26 and a half. 26 and a half minutes to go, uh, Pete. Yeah. Scott in Boston listening on BCN. Good morning, Scott. Hey, Scott. Hey, oh, no, you're Scott. Scott. <laughs> you're Scott. Let's get all the characters right. You're Scott, the this, caller. By the way, this is why I'm not even going to lie to anyone. This is why this is too good to just throw out there at six in the morning because you got people like Scott. They don't even know they're awake yet. He doesn't know his name. <laughs> right? He goes, "Hey, he Scott." Thinks he's doing a radio show, and we're the listeners. <laughs> what do you got? Scott? I was out. I was out drinking late last night. I come home. I fall asleep listening to Ron and Fez. I wake up to Opie's voice. Saying, wake up, O and A listeners. Wake up, O and A listeners. Then I start listening, and now I'm wide awake. All right. It's... Well, not quite, but I will be soon. Well, you might want to wait to hear what happens. You might want to like crack open a beer. I, the coffee's not going to help you. <laughs> Just grab a I'm beer. Gonna I'm going to roll one up. Oh boy, You're, you'll be out cold by 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 six forty five. All right, no, Scott. I'll, hang. I'll make it to at least seven thirty. All right, All hang right. in there. We got Mongo, uh, the trucker, I, I have a faithful question. listener. Uh, yes. Is this? Oh, go ahead. Yeah, Mongo. Today we settle all family business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, James. Is there a Anthony reconciliation? Happening? Oh. Is that the big surprise? Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Ahmadinejad uh, would go to Israel first and uh, uh, pray at the wailing wall <laughs> with a yarmulke on his head. So we can't fix this one? Unfixable. Unfixable. That's what Under any circumstance. All right. Done. Over. Also... Hopefully, I don't even know if we're gonna have time to do, do this, but, but. Uh, I, I'm ready for you to to dig right into this email. I've I've I haven't been listening to uh, you guys' show for very long, like uh, for very many um, months or what have you. But ever since I've been listening, I've been a, a fan. I've I've heard about the the uh, crab apple woman story. Yeah. You know, yes. And, yes. I, I've been listening extremely intently. Because, you know, I've got my own radio show. Let's say hi to Bob in New Jersey. <laughs> Bob, how are you, buddy? What's going on, boy? Hey there, Bob. Hey, Bob. I just want to see who was crazier uh, in that time frame, from your ex-wife or Jill? Oh, mm. wow. Okay. This is the pregame. Let's see. We got some pregame questions. Pregame question. Who is crazier? Wow. Let me think. That's a tough question. Uh... I would say... Three months to nine years. Jill, crazier but, but, than the ex-wife. But, 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 but the ex-wife had, you know, a thousand other strikes against her. That, uh, you know, who do you not as crazy, but, uh, you know, kind of meh, bitchy. All right. Who do you like less? Who do I like less? Yeah. I gotta go with the X. Oh, come on! <laughs> that's, I'm that's, just going monetarily <laughs> right here. Well. It's a it's a complete materialistic thing here. <laughs> oh, I think I bought that. What? What she's wearing on TV right now? <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I think I bought that. She knows you would see this too today. 
Yeah. <laughs> hey, remember this? Oh, Jesus. Remember when we went shopping and you bought this? She's just turning the screws today. Oh, well. All right, it all goes down at 7. What time is it? Uh, 17 and a half minutes. All right, uh, to the ONA community, if you know somebody that might be sleeping in this morning, you might want to wake them up. It goes down at 7. Ant's got uh, a lot to say today. Yeah. I thought you said it all the last few days. No, I held back a couple of things. Wednesday was an amazing show that, unfortunately, Boston did not hear. Yesterday was uh, right up there as well. And uh, I think we got more stuff even uh, more stuff today. You well, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't have said anything if it wasn't for the, um, the email you know, that's going around. The email that's going around with the uh, liar liar uh, on it, mm -hmm. and 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 then the uh, Russian Malloy uh, piece mm -hmm. that uh, some unnamed friends gave information to. Right. How about you print the name? Right. How about you print the names? I, I'm in there. My name's in there. I spilt everything. I got nothing. There's nothing in there that I said that I'm retracting or, or saying isn't isn't absolutely true. Mm -hmm. It's the way it goes, and and that's how I'm going to be when I read this email. I'm going to correct. I'm going to correct <laughs> some of the mistakes. All right. And uh, it's in the Daily News. We're going to reread the article at seven too. Just get Do you this know thing what going. happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Listen. Uh, Jill took. A girl's clothes that she didn't like and tried to burn them down. She has to be corrected. <laughs> Let's say hi to Dano in Kentucky. The pregame has begun. Dano. Works with what? Good morning, fellas. Hey, Dano. Hey, happy birthday, Jamie. Thank you. Cook. Hey, uh, Anthony, have you thought about upping the ante on this? Push it back in her court, man. I mean, because you have theft by deception, arson, Unlawful entry. I mean, you could you, you could just put put the boots to her, man. I never did any unlawful entry. Everything was consensual. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. and it's hard to, hard to bring up unlawful entry when she had a key, my friend. No, no, but she did no, use the key entry. that was on my keychain ah. from my Escalade ah. that she did take. But I'm not going to go the legal route. I'm not going a legal route. What am I going to do? Call the cops and stuff. That's it's ridiculous. They're not going to do anything. Right. She knows as many uh, police officers as I do. Right. Uh, it's not about that anyway. It's not about getting the law involved in this. I'm not going to. Yeah, you took this. I'm going to call the police. No, this is just about uh, the tr the truth shall set you free, is what I like to say. I don't like to say it. I just felt compelled to say it. I've heard you say Actually, that. Actually, hate to say it. Once. <laughs> and it's right now in all the years I've known Yes. <laughs> you act like it's your mantra. <laughs> You've never said that or thought of. No. no. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, there's just certain things in this this email that have to be addressed. And uh, the police aren't involved in it. It's it's a personal issue. And, um, and when is that going down? You, wow, we're looking at probably exactly 15 minutes. Yeah, 14 and a half. 14 and a half minutes. Okay. Sorry, Stumper. Primetime gossip spies are going crazy as we've learned that at 7 a.m. this morning, there will be a major announcement on the Opie and Anthony show. Now, we know it will have to do with the Anthelini breakup, but our sources say it may just be a publicity stunt. You know something? Come here and I'll choke you. You could join the, uh, everything in the fire pit. I'll burn you, you dummies. No, it's not a big PR stunt. So we're the girl lost her friggin' mind and burnt another girl's stuff. All right, it's not a publicity stunt. Stay tuned as PTG keeps you informed. Wow, oh, there you go, huh? Working. Everybody's on it. They're working quick. Everybody's <laughs> on it, Ant. Hey, uh, you want to do the Shrewsbury? Welcome back to a very special Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> it's almost 7 o'clock. Yeah. Weird song to come back to. Oh, this is uh, the theme song for Anthony. It is. Every time I rise, me, <laughs> me Shut your goddamn pie hole. <laughs> almost more. Shut your goddamn pie hole. <laughs> idiot. <laughs> what the heck are you guys doing? Maybe trying to ruin my life, making me look like a freaking idiot. I can feel how much you love me. And punt. <laughs> 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 I've never been this close to anyone. That answer is. I can hear 
Bones. And a man in life with some kind of war to be made to look ridiculous. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, no, that's terrible. That's just awful. No, you use your, you use your tongue prettier than a $20 horn. We're taking There's a person, there's a person stranded. There's a person <laughs> stranded. Hey, everybody, we're all going to get late. Is that supposed to be sexy? It's like I'm walking on sunshine. It's in the hole. It's impossible. I'm trying to tell you that. What do you want? You want the tears to come out of my eyes? <laughs> you can act like a man. What's the matter with you? Razzle dazzle. <laughs> Baby, you surround me. Oh! <laughs> That, that's terrible, I'm sorry. I hate you! <laughs> that is terrible! I love you, Johnny Cage. You're gonna be okay! <laughs> <laughs> Don't just stare at it, eat it. Sometimes I'm a bad boy, yeah. <laughs> yes. This was like the theme song, wasn't it? Ah, uh, yes, Anthony. Back goes Griffey, looking up, and it's out of here! Or is it? No, it's off the wall. My mistake. Oh. Oh. Griffey back, scored! No. No! Oh, my, I'm telling you something. How did that not go in? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's 7 o'clock, Anthony. This Ooh, is... Oh, that woman. Her mouth <laughs> like an outboard motor. All the time. Put, 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 <laughs> well, it's seven o'clock. We've been teasing this for the first hour of the show. It's a little past seven now, right? Yep. Uh, is it? Are yeah. Are you ready to get into this now, Anthony? I am ready to uh, get into this. Absolutely. I'm holding in my hand the uh, Russian Malloy mm -hmm. article mm -hmm. that was uh, in the uh, Daily News today mm -hmm. in the gossip column, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm holding in my hand an email that has been circulating. Uh, going out to people that I guess have emailed uh, Jill. Not necessarily, because I didn't email Jill, and I got it five times myself. Well, from people that probably have gotten it from other people that have <laughs> right. emailed her. This, this is her response because she wants to, you know, she wants to be heard. Yeah. Her side. Yeah. She wants heard, but uh, you know, ooh, sorry, yeah. I have a radio show. I could say whatever I want, yeah. and uh, you have to stand in front of a bunch of animated cars yeah. on animated <laughs> yeah. roadways yeah. and read the teleprompter. Uh, before we start, Brian in Philly has something. Brian? Hey, good morning, guys. Quick suggestion for a new Anthony uh, theme song. Uh, Zebra, who's behind the door? <laughs> oh, who's behind the door? That's a... <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start by reading the Russian Malloy article, if, if you don't mind, Anthony. <laughs> All right, start by reading that, but I'm going to break in and comment. Yeah, yeah, well, you weren't allowed to comment when we read it the first time at 6 o'clock. Glaring inaccuracies. And, uh, and here we go with the Rush and Malloy article that appears in today's Daily News. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, God, we've, no. Been, we've been Rick rolled. Oh, no. How did that happen? Who saw that coming? Oh, oh no. no. We want to talk about this whole story, and we've been rickrolled, Opie. Now what? I don't know. What are you doing? You've been rickrolled. <laughs> rickrolled. It's, it's nothing <laughs> funnier to me than a rickroll. Who doesn't love the rickroll? And it's because it's always attached to a link that you really want. Yeah. yeah. Like it's oh that sounds yeah. good. Click, and then you get Rick Astley. It never says sucky dance video, and then that comes on. <laughs> it says new Joker clips from Batman. <laughs> yeah, and you've been Rick rolled. You know, there's an ass out there somewhere. 
Rick Roll, that's so early 2008. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. All right, here we go. Russian Malloy, today's Daily News. Yes. Anthony caught in a jam. Uh, you, you got some nice placement in the gossip column. Today. Yeah, picture, everything. A nice picture of you and Jill um, having a, a, a very romantic dinner. They were happier times, Opie. At my brother's restaurant, uh, F.H. Riley's, yeah. in the heart of Huntington Village, 400th oh, wow. Avenue. Okay. The online uh, picture is uh, much nicer. It's a lot more of the picture. Show, we're showing clinking glasses of wine together. Uh -huh. Oh, the whole picture, that is a lot Yeah, nice. very nice. It's, yes. it's I wish, like wish I could remember most of the relationship, but I was intoxicated during most of it. Well... <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, Anthony caught in a jam. Here we go. Only if they had a rabbit in a pot could the breakup of Jill Nicolini and Anthony Cumia be more dramatic. Nice movie reference. Mm -hmm. The misbehaving half of Opie and Anthony confessed on his K-Rock radio show yesterday that the TV traffic babe caught him in bed with a 20-year-old blonde. Technically didn't catch me in bed. I was completely dressed sitting on the edge of the bed. Uh, she was uh, completely dressed in the closet where her clothes were. She went into the closet. I didn't say, hide. Hide me, too. Hide me, too. <laughs> if that blonde was in the closet, would I throw this lighted match in? <laughs> you might, Robert. You might. It was like the, in Cuckoo's Nest when he walks in yeah. and they're all caught up together hiding in the room. <laughs> all right, where's the girl? Where's she hiding? She ain't in this closet. Oh, she's in the closet, eh? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Should I move on, Ed? This is your thing. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, nice behaving. Anthony said, "I was." Well, read that part again. I like it. All right. Why well, this is good for you, right? <laughs> yeah. Why? Why isn't it? All right, exactly. Uh, show yesterday that the traffic babe caught him in bed with a twenty-year-old blonde. Mm -hmm. I was participating in some extracurricular activities with another female. Anthony said, "I like how I talk in lawyer speak." Yeah, <laughs> it was on the show yesterday. Uh, she went into the closet. I got dressed, and Jill came in. She opened the closet door and saw the girl. All right, I'll 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 give uh, that uh, accuracy. Yeah, that's accurate. That's that's what happened. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Most of the stuff uh, most of the listeners know by now. Yeah. A source tells us the woman waved and said, "I've been effing him for three weeks." <laughs> well, they left out a couple of details. You know, they had uh, Jill had asked her. You know, so how long have you been? being my boyfriend and she said about three weeks mm -hmm. but uh to be honest i think it might have been a little longer tell you the truth wow. could have been four weeks something like that but you were only with jill for three months ah. <laughs> what are you gonna do a source tells us uh the a source a source tells us uh, the woman waved and said i've been effing him for three weeks at that point anthony ran to his night table and took the ammo clip out of his gun. It, it makes it sound so urgent. I didn't do that. As you know, I always keep um, my um, my my firearm mm -hmm. uh, in my night table. Yeah. So as they're discussing things, they're having a little back and forth discussion uh, about the timeline of this <laughs> and uh, uh, whatnot. I just slowly. I didn't run. I slowly made sure. That uh, the, any weapons that were nearby were unloaded. Well, you've That's all. I'm uh, a safe guy when it comes to that. I'm not going to have, you know, any kind of uh, thing like that go down. You've said many times on the show you're you are a responsible gun owner. And I'll be uh, truthful. I honestly don't think anyone was going to pick anything up and start slinging lead. <laughs> but uh, you know, that's just me. So I, I didn't run to the, you know. Oh my God. I was sitting right next to the night table. Yeah. I didn't even have to get up off the bed. Right. All right. Make that sound urgent. Uh, Jill then took off in my Escalade. Yeah. Well, as we've said before, she um, she uh, made uh, uh, the girl and then, uh, of course, Danny and, and baby girl were downstairs, uh, said that they should all leave so we could have a little chit-chat. 
And I thought that would be best, you know, just finish it up right there. Uh, and and uh, after they left, she was there for another five minutes. Ah, don't wave. What are you doing? I don't know. She waved and made a big hi. I think secret messages are coming by again. You do? I think she's transmitting secret messages to me well, from the that. traffic cast. There's, there's an Escalade driving with a limp tailpipe. <laughs> <laughs> and a little graphics bar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So she took off in the Escalade, uh, Anthony added. But she returned the next day and took some items. See, this is not... Uh, this is, uh, she took off, yeah, in the Escalade, much to my chagrin. I didn't say take off in it, and she had my keys on the keychain mm -hmm. uh, for even, my house and everything. And we said it yesterday, even though she uh, had her own car in the driveway. You, you, yeah, the, her own car was there in the street, parked yeah. in the street. Yeah. So she took the Escalade and took off in it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I was just left there like, what the hell is she doing with my truck? Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, she, she took off in that, and when she did return... It says, but she returned the next day and took some items. Right. Um, it doesn't say her items. Right. Took some of my items. Right. Stuff I need. She found some things that belonged to the girl, and these were taken out to my uh, nice new fire pit, mm -hmm. thrown in there and burned to a crisp. Yes. She um, took uh, all of the this uh, nice girl's clothes and... Uh, threw the bag they were in in the fire pit and lit them on fire. Mm -hmm. That's mature. Including dead guy ashes. That's a good way to handle it. Yeah, and meanwhile, uh, important documents were in the bag. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, yes, ashes of her grandfather. Her, her, her grandfather passed away, and they divvied up the ashes between, like, the grandkids and whatnot. And they were supposed to, you know, take them somewhere special and and let them let them fly. You know how that works. Mm -hmm. Well, this dunce doesn't even in in her emotional uh, uh, rage, in in what I like to call uh, bitch rage, uh, just didn't didn't take any uh, time to to check what was in there, if something really important might have been in there, and those were in there, and uh, they ended up in the fire pit. Rumor has it that uh, Jill's saying that that was, oh that's gonna be that's in the, in okay. the next email that's in yes. the, uh, the follow up yes all right hey uh, a friend of Nicolini's told us she was simply... a friend just remember uh, let's look at the source here second hand information you're getting first hand information from me Anthony a friend of Nicolini's told us she was simply picking up her own clothes and found that the woman had basically moved in bull that's another lie. There was one bag, one bag in my closet. It wasn't moved in. You know who was moved in? She was! My gun closet looked like uh, Forever 21. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You make it sound like that's a bad thing. No, it was. Why? Because Jill had started moving all her clothes into my place. I thought it was weird when I went over for the pool party. Uh -huh. I missed all the good stuff because I uh, I had an obligation down in you Philly. Certainly did. But uh, I was there for a couple hours, and I I did find it weird that there were a lot of uh, uh, Jill and Anthony pictures uh, 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 around the house. I'm like, wow, no crap. I'm like, wow, they're just kind of dating. This is uh, this is going quite quickly. Pictures started ending up in frames in my house. Yeah. And, and sitting there on my on my bedroom uh, dresser mm -hmm. was a picture. I'm like, what the hell has happened here? But you allowed that to happen, sir. Yeah. You know something, though? It's kind of rough when they pull that slow move in on you. That slow move. There's a couple of clothes end up there. Mm -hmm. You don't know what they are, where they're from. It's like, oh, yeah, some clothes ought to be kept here if you want to, you know, spend the night and then go to work or something, which is fine. But then there's... You know, a closet full. I cannot tell you how many shoes were in my closet. More shoes than guns? They're probably equal amounts. <laughs> it's crazy. Not even if Imelda Marcos was living with it. <laughs> You're getting annoyed that it was being rushed along like that? Were you, were you kind of feeling like... Yeah, I started grabbed? feeling a little uh, trapped. Like, uh-oh, here it goes again. Mm -hmm. Here it is again. Great. But, uh, you know, uh, the other girl wasn't moved in. 
It was just kind of a, you know, need a place to stay. Here it is. I got plenty of room for a, you know, duffel bag full of clothes. It wasn't like stuff was hanging up in the closet like her crap was. That I bought! Which I'll bring up when I, we address the email. Yes. Okay. Basically moved in. Uh, so, all right, I, I, uh, blah, blah, blah. let me back up here. Simply picking up her own clothes and found that the woman had basically Simply. moved in. And, well, what would you do? Um, so, basically, there's an admit of guilt there that um, that uh, she did indeed uh, burn some stuff in the fire pit. Picking up her own clothes and found the woman had basically moved in. What would you do? All right. It, the confrontation had already happened. It was done. Uh so it was after the fact. It wasn't like she was surprised to see a uh, girl's clothes in the closet. What would you do? Take your crap, put it in your car, and leave. Not take my stuff and not burn someone else's stuff, especially before you go through the pockets of, of the, the case and, and realize you're burning uh, all kinds of goodies. Life would be easy if women would just take that advice from Anthony Cumia. Exactly. But, you know, a woman scorned, you know, that whole well, thing. Well, the whole woman scorned thing, do I do it. understand blah, blah, blah. the woman scorned thing. Yeah. But but I'll tell you something. There's woman scorned, and then there's there's uh, a crazy bitch. There's things that crazy bitches do. And I think burning, I think anything that involves fire puts you into crazy bitch category. Fire equal crazy bitch. And then uh, Rush and Malloy continue. They write, uh, Do Jill, they? Jill had taken the woman's laptop and returned to Tuesday. A month later, by the way. Uh, the return makes it sound like, makes it sound like, ah, she just decided to return it. That's another, uh, 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 they left a few things out. That first of all, it was under the guise that it was my laptop because I knew she would just destroy it if she knew it was her laptop. So I said, yeah, that's my laptop. And she didn't just return it. It cost me a thousand dollars to get one laptop without any power cords or accessories that were with it because they were in the bag. So it's just a laptop, nothing else, and an easy pass. My easy pass for my Escalade because she decided that would be funny to, you know, take that off. So when I get to the toll booth, uh, I'd be, you know, screwed. But sorry, I have a fiver on me. I think I can make it through the tunnel, dummy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, she took that stuff and held it a ransom for a thousand dollars, six hundred of which it, it, she said was for dry cleaning, and uh, four hundred of which she said was for a new camera that somehow I owed her because she lost it at the 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 party, the breakup party, I like to call it. How many people? How many people knew uh, that at that party it was going to get a little, uh, a little interesting? A little interesting. Well, perhaps when I was molesting a girl in the hot tub during the party. Of course, right in front of her. Yes. What did she do then? Got mad. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. I knew something bad was going to happen. I was in. The, I didn't see that in the hot tub. But I was sitting. That's why the bubbles are on, silly. <laughs> I, I, I I was sitting with the other person, and uh, it it just was obvious that things were going to get very, very good. Un yeah, uncomfortable. Uncomfortable at some point during that. Of course. I, I was out of the loop on this whole thing, but I kind of knew myself when I was there. I was like, oh boy, I, I oh boy, okay. mm -hmm. all right, oh wow, okay. I hate her. Things like that. I was like, I, I was thinking to myself, wow, there's an extra girl here. Uh oh, okay. <laughs> This could get uh, very interesting. That's how I roll. Right. No, I oh, didn't say oh, oh, I what? Rick roll. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's how I roll. Uh, we continue. Jill had taken the woman's laptop and returned to Tuesday, a month later, by the way, well over a month later, but had a friend check the hard drive, some CSI crap going down. Yeah. Now, here's the uh, the laptop. It's at her house. And she now decides she has to know what's on it because because there's no power cords and uh, supposedly the laptop was broken. It wouldn't even start up. It it needs to be repaired. But she went the extra mile to not just turn on the laptop. That might have been a little thing of curiosity if the laptop worked to turn it on, see what's on there. Uh, no, it wouldn't turn on. 
So she had the hard drive examined like uh, uh, f forensics do, mm -hmm. you know, forensic squad, and found um, whatever she found. I think the hard drive was in there for a couple of days. And, um, yeah, she, she, that, that, again, to me, a little much, a little much. And then along with the things that aren't printed in this article, how about uh, Russian Malloy? How about you print all my American Express bills that she went through and circled charges for hotels and dinners and then wrote, uh, were you out with one of your skanky whores uh, next to a circled event that I went to or something? You know, how about that? That's a little kooky. Do you see that as being a little kooky? A little extreme going through my bills? It's it was over at that point. The one question I got, and it's coming in too. But um, if you were like uh, with this other girl for at least four weeks, why not just break up with Jill? Make it easy. Do you like the conflict? That's not how I roll. Look. Do you like the conflict? No, I hate conflict. That's just it. But, but hating conflict added to a lot more conflict. I was going to. Here's what, what was going on. I was under a lot of pressure mm -hmm. for uh, uh, with this party mm -hmm. thing. The planning was ripped right out of my hands and went right into hers. It wasn't your party. It was not my party. And everyone that knows me <laughs> we, knows that was not my party. When we, not, when we, a lot of people there, it was nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, there were dessert trays and, yeah. Of course. I would never throw a party like that. It would have just been <laughs> a bunch. My guests left happy. <laughs> a bunch of beer and what? It was, the whole place would have just been a giant ashtray. Yeah. With uh, a keg of beer. Beer and skank whores. <laughs> <laughs> we showed up, and I, I, my first thought was, wow, this isn't Anthony's party. No. He's along for the ride on this one. There were over 100 people there. Executive chefs, people walking around with, like, like trays of hors d'oeuvres. Dude, that party probably cost as much as a wedding. What? Yeah. What? Yes! Well, It got completely out of hand. What kind of wedding? I don't know. Not like your expensive ones. A wedding ones, in but... Scranton or a wedding yeah, probably a Scranton, in the Hamptons? Yeah, Scranton wedding. Like 10, 10 Gs? 20 Gs? Perhaps more than that. More than 20 Gs? It was uh, well, probably in the ballpark there. Wow. It was a very expensive uh, wedding. Wow. Wedding <laughs> party. Right. And um, it got like ripped out of my hands, and this invitation list went from, you know, I was inviting people from work and just some of my friends. I don't have many of them, close friends that I would invite to a party or stuff like that, but they were invited. And then it's like, what the? Then family, you know, you can invite the family. And there's just all kinds of people coming, friends of friends of hers and, and this and that. I, I, Big giant cut, cutouts of you and her? Oh, Jesus Christ. I know. saw that cutout. I'm like, but and I'm looking over at the, yeah. <laughs> at the fire Oops. pit area. I'm like, Wow, okay. <laughs> this is... Well, that's where the cutout ended up. <laughs> really? That fire pit's come in handy. Not one log is burnt in there. It's just been vind the vindictive pit. That's what I call it. You might have The to... pit of revenge. You, you might have to get rid of that fire pit <laughs> and start over. <laughs> uh, bad memories. All right, so... Uh... Well, you can always tell when a relationship is over. It's like smoke signals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you see the smoke coming out of the fire pit. Well, and single. Read Russian Malloy. <laughs> Jill had taken the woman's laptop to return to Tuesday, but had a friend check the hard drive. Bad news for Anthony. The girl is a member of a porn site. How is that bad news? That's uh, Russian Malloy today in the Daily News. How? It, 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 please tell me how that's bad news. <laughs> bad news would have been, bad news, the girl's a member of Alcoholics Anonymous. Yes. Bad news, the girl's a member of uh, a BBW site. <laughs> you know, that's bad news. Bad news for Anthony, the girl is actually a dude. That's, that's bad that's news. That's bad news. A 20-year-old blonde that's on a porn site, right. I don't think is bad news for Anthony. Yeah, I don't think Russia and Malloy understand their audience. <laughs> most, yeah. Most yeah, guys are reading this today, like, yeah. on the construction site. Bad news. Um, I'm not <laughs> Sean Hannity here, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not going to uh, hurt my uh, career for... Uh, uh, Having a 20-year-old that's on porn sites. I think that falls under the umbrella of terrific news. Of course. Yeah. And then, um, this is weird by Russian Malloy. They write, the best revenge? Question mark. Jill now dates 
Handsome hedge fund uh, manager Joseph D. Virgilio. 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 Joseph D. Virgilio. But why is that bad news? Or uh, best revenge. Why is that the best revenge? Anthony was the one who uh, who broke up. Yeah. Not in the traditional way. I guess. But... I get. How is that revenge? Like, am I supposed to look and go, oh? I'm with a 20-year-old uh, girl, uh, and you're with a hedge fund manager. Don't you get it? I'm like the hedge fund manager. <laughs> so, yeah, they're both uh, they're both expected. <laughs> you're expected to do this. She's expected <laughs> to do that. Who are we kidding? Right. So that's uh, what's in the Daily News today. And uh, Glad you found another sap. And uh, when we get back, Anthony reads the email. The email that has been sent out with a lot of lies, which is going to lead to a pretty uh, a pretty impressive ramp by Anthony. Well, not, I, not to raise uh, expectations, I'm but just gonna I'm just gonna tell it like it is, and, like it was, and you will do that in a few minutes. Stay there, Opie and Anthony. Old school. Yeah. Wait for it. Wait for it. There it comes. And... Uh, love oh. me, so I don't understand. <laughs> We're back with the Opie and Anthony Show. Promises are snapped in two. Words are made too bad. It's 80s New Wave Friday on the Opie and Anthony Show. Yeah, we're back with the Opie and Anthony Show. Now, uh, where are we at? Lies. Lots well, of lies, huh? We had just uh, gone through the Russian Malloy thing, cleared up a few little issues there. But for the most part, this had uh, a little transcribing of our radio show and what I said on that. And then some source, some source, a friend of uh, Jill's kind of added in. What she uh, felt secondhand was her side of things, leaving out uh, some details. Uh, but now comes the email. Uh, I got this last night. Um, apparently, it's being sent out to people that um, uh, somebody said if you support her side of this, like she must have gotten some emails and it's like, oh, you know, he's such a douche and what. Guy! I think I bought that. I really think I bought that one. I remember being dragged to go shopping. I think I bought that. Oh, give me it back. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the email that is uh, now going around, and it's uh, supposedly her side of the conversation, of the uh, uh, situation. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your support. But I must admit, I really did fall in love with him and was devastated when I caught him cheating. It was bad. Let's see. It happened the night of our luau. So that was August 16th. And for two weeks, I cried and was devastated. But now, almost six weeks later, I am so much better and have moved on completely. Uh, not really, if you're writing emails. <laughs> yeah, moved on completely. Until yesterday, you hadn't moved on completely. You still had my crap. And we're, we're holding it until I gave you $1,000. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Uh, still in disbelief that he's bragging about how cool it was to have this 20-year-old in his bedroom while I left, only to come back. I mean, I was practically living there. Yeah, that was partly the problem. I was falling right back into it. Oof. But it taught me a lesson, and I sure know I deserve so much better, and karma will come around. Will it? Please don't believe all the things he says on the air. Like this morning, I was so disgusted. Yes, Keith came over to give me one dollar. But for what? For the $429 camera that he was replacing that got stolen from his house? 
and six hundred dollars worth of dry cleaning from this place in New York City, which he made me bring my clothes to three months ago. All right, here's here's the first blatant lie. I don't know crap about dry cleaning. I, I what do I know about dry cleaning? And I'm gonna sit there and go, hey. You take your clothes here. You take it to this dry cleaner. Why? Because it costs $600. <laughs> Why? Did, she has her stuff dry cleaned like every day. There's dry cleaning crap going in and out of her apartment. Everything is wrapped in that dry cleaner's plastic stuff. Clothes, everything. She knows a lot about dry cleaning. And she knew this place, and she dropped it off there. And for some reason, they they charged six hundred bucks, and then she assumed it was my responsibility to pay it, uh, which to me was complete blackmail to get my stuff back, of which was uh, not even my laptop and an Easy Pass. I could have canceled the Easy Pass and got a new one, but it was the principle of the thing. She owed me my laptop, uh, my uh, Easy Pass, and she uh, held it for one thousand dollars. I don't know what this says. Is Keith came over to give me one dollar? Maybe it's a typo. Yeah, maybe typo. One K, maybe. Maybe it was one K. Well, that sounds normal then. But for what? For the camera and the driver, that comes out to a thousand dollars, right? Or a thousand twenty-nine bucks, right? But I mean, the twenty-nine is inconsequential. So it seems funny for her to say one dollar. And if it was a typo, you know, it comes out to the same, the right amount. Possibly just a rebuttal for you saying it was a thousand dollar blackmail. Probably saying, yeah, it was a thousand dollars, but for what? Well, this is what it was for. Right. Oh, okay. Well, you know, why did I pay for her dry cleaning? Why did I pay for the camera? She lost the goddamn thing. Yeah, it was my house at my party, but you know, she lost the the, the camera. But. I said, you know something? I'm just going to pay for it and end this whole thing. So Keith goes to go over and give her the $1,000 for my stuff. And she, she texts Keith or calls him or whatever and says she also wants the big ceramic boot, the giant ceramic cowboy boot out by my side door. Take it, good. Don't let it kick you in the ass on the way out. <laughs> Uh, it's just, uh, oh, so it has nothing to do with me trying to get money from him. It was a thousand dollars you tried to get from me. Why am I paying for your goddamn dry cleaning? And the camera you lost. Yeah. I'm not agreeing to that. You could even rationalize the camera in some wacky way. She lost it at my house. All right. I, I maybe I'll take responsibility for. It is my house. It was our camera. It disappeared. I could even pay for that with with some reservations. But the dry cleaning? What the hell am I paying for your clothes for? So some some uh, 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 hedge fund guy can take them off now. <laughs> Those are my buttons. He's unbuttoning. <laughs> I I paid for them. <laughs> we like to think that Keith actually came over with one dollar. <laughs> yeah, I you know. It didn't slip. It didn't just slip through my mind uh, more than a, a few times that Keith went over there, gave her a buck, and pocketed nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. Exactly what he did. And then pulled out his police badge and said, and then give, said "Give it to me, or I'll arrest you." Right. <laughs> that, that has Keith written all over it. So maybe maybe this isn't a typo. Yeah, dude, she's crazy. I gave her a thousand bucks. A thousand right. bucks. Keith is living large today. Maybe the hedge fund guy bought Lehman Brothers stock with it. Now it's worth a dollar. Yeah. yeah. Boom. Mm. Boo. All right. You know, Keith did just buy a boat, too. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's my money. Here's a new $1,000 hat. <laughs> dollar hat. <laughs> it's made out of platinum. He bought a platinum hat. <laughs> <laughs> Dope. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, she wasn't trying to get money from me. Right. Uh, it's just what he was supposed to do until I caught him cheating. No, it's what you told me to do after I was caught cheating. Remember, there wasn't any, I wasn't going to pick up your goddamn dry cleaning. What do I look? Three shades, 
Oh, that's what my mom used to say. I won't say it, though. <sighs> I'm your houseboy picking up your uh, your dry cleaning. Get it yourself! Keith writes, listening to this and watching uh, the CW11 is like Wizard of Oz and Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> yeah, when you put it on. <laughs> yeah, line, exactly. Keith. Great line. Uh, I'm not into his money and never have been. Trust me. Trust you? How about, besides the $1,000, uh, she does say, I'm not in his money. I never asked for anything or received anything, but, well, love. Ha ha, so I thought. Dinners, and he did take me clothes shopping two times. Those two times, I took you clothes shopping, one of which I believe was in Nashville, Tennessee, uh, which I, I paid for first-class tickets to get there. <laughs> So the shopping spree kind of it kind of chalked up to a lot of money, uh, and, and and the clothes were very expensive, and um, and I bought them, for the love of God. I bought two hundred and eighty dollar flip flops. Two hundred what? Two hundred and eighty dollar flip flops. It was more than the room in the hotel we were in. What? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what about two hundred and eighty dollar flip flops? What about the blinds? Yeah, I'm getting to that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so she owns, you know, she owns a condo mm -hmm. in Nashville. You know, you know entrepreneurs buying some uh, real estate. Smart thing to do. And I paid for the blinds in this place that she's renting out. That was four G's right there, over four thousand dollars. For blinds. Why would you buy blinds? Because it seemed like the nice, right thing to do. Four G's for blinds? Four G's for blinds. Jesus. Yeah. You could cure the blind for that. <laughs> well, the blinds worked. The, bl yeah. the blinds yeah. worked, by the way, because she had no idea what was going on. So uh, Yes. They were, uh, <laughs> they were coming yes. up her eyes yes. pretty good. <laughs> the blinds, they were on a hat rim. <laughs> right. Yeah. So it was... Uh, yeah, if if I actually went through my Amex bills like she did and circled, you know, everything where she thought I was uh, with a whore, with one of my whores, uh, maybe she would have seen some of these bills that uh, I spent on her. No money? Stop it. Shop Clothes shopping two times? I had to buy her. It had to be. I, I'm just taking a ballpark guess here. Uh, anywhere between five and eight thousand dollars worth of clothes. So that you know, we're talking tens of thousands of dollars here. This, it's, and I never brought it up. I never would have brought it up if if this email didn't come around. Stephen S from uh, Bayshore writes two hundred and eighty dollar flip flops. Yep, are those her breasts without the implants? <laughs> Not flip flops in that fashion. Sorry. Uh, continue. Oh, and a a for the burning of the clothes. Now she's implicating Keith in this. My 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 uh, uh, personal assistant. This guy is is as loyal as the day is long. That's what I'll say. <laughs> Keith. Keith has never been anything but a very loyal friend personal assistant uh he takes care of uh, a lot of my business as far as uh construction around the house things like that him and his wife and are great i consider them uh very very close friends before uh any business is even involved he is st very trustworthy uh and she implies here as for the burning of the clothes keith was there and thought it was brilliant LOL. Now, I can't see her toting a bag that at this point, uh, Keith doesn't even know what's in it. Watching her throw it in my fire pit and lighting it on fire and chuckling along with Jill as uh, 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 this girl's clothes and other possessions are burning in the fire pit. Somehow I don't see Keith... Um, there watching and saying, oh, that's brilliant. So, you know, that's just another lie. Just stop already. I'm sure we'll hear from Keith on that one. 
And if you were there, Keith, you're completely fired and out of my life. No, I'm teasing. I know Keith wasn't there. He's too busy shopping with the $999. Yeah, getting that platinum hat. Mm -hmm. uh, I only did this because when I came to the house the day after the party, I wanted to clean out my stuff, my cats, and all that uh, I had to get in my car. And, well, I found all of her clothes in his closet. First of all, none of your crap was in my closet, so why were you going in there in the first place? None of my crap was in my, in your uh, none of your crap was in my closet. It was all in my gun closet. It moved in, turned a manly closet into a fruit emporium. All those goddamn dresses and shoes, my manly gun closet. So she says, uh, you know, she came over to clear out her stuff. She was a 20-year-old fan who was friends with Danny? Why, I never... Danny? It's news to me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she has the story uh, all wrong. Yes, skanky as hell, with pink hairs, a spider tattoos, a face piercing, but whoever upgrades when they cheat, LOL. Me! Little, little pissed she's got ten years on you? Little pissed? Hmm? Little pissed the skin's a little more supple? Hmm? Maybe a little angry? Yeah. That's got to sting a little bit, doesn't it? Hmm. Doesn't have to go and uh, maybe get those uh, injections to cover up a few lines on the face? Oh, boy. Huh? Huh? Is that maybe uh, a little more aggravating than just uh, walking uh, in uh, on the closet and seeing that? Hmm? I don't see any dots on her ass where the lipo rod went in. I don't see any dots on her thighs or sides or belly where, where a lipo rod went in. And perhaps you should have left a little more in your ass. Oh. Personal opinion. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna sit over here. What's the matter? I'm I'm really uncomfortable. Good. I'm itching like I have hives again. Well, I'm not gonna sit here while some bitch is lying, lying on these emails that she's sending out to people. It's crap. Made to have me look like a, an ass. I, 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 I did uh, one thing that I confess was, uh, you know, not the right thing to do. I'll even be honest as far as that's concerned, because that's what I do. I'm honest with this uh, crap. It was cheating. It was a bad thing to do. The right thing would have been when I saw that I, maybe I was feeling like I was uh, uncomfortable in, in the relationship. It was getting a little too deep in. Uh, I had just gotten out of a relationship. Perhaps I should have been honest, forthright, gone up to you and discussed this. But I, I went about it completely wrong, like a douchey guy. Uh, but that, I don't think, justifies the kookiness in which you handled this situation. Not mature for a girl of 35. Okay, that was a lie. She's 30. All right. I just... <laughs> Where, so, where were we? Uh, she went to clean out his stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Found uh, skanky girl's clothes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> skanky girl. Uh, anyway, he admitted, uh, he admitted he was keeping her stuff there, and the nights I wasn't over, she was for those three weeks. Yep. When I caught her in the closet, she admitted that it wasn't the first time they had had sex. It was ongoing for three weeks prior. I had some intuitive feelings something wasn't right, and I confronted him. He blamed it on the fact that he was stressed and taking Xanax because of his contract. Negotiations. <laughs> his contract negotiations. Which, by the way, the only true thing in this email. <laughs> All right, I'll give her that. I did say that. <laughs> hey, leave me alone. I'm sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, well, I continue to believe him. 
And then she throws this in. Mm-hmm. And this really is just an insult. And BTW, by the way, there were no ashes of this girl's grandfather in her bags. I went through it all. Please, your grandfather lived in Canada, for God's sake. That's just part of his bit. Part of his bit? This effing bitch is denying the fact, fact, that this girl's grandfather's ashes were there. All the kids, I guess, were given a, a, a certain amount of these ashes. It was in a little pouch. It wasn't in some kind of urn or anything in that bag. And Dummy decides she's not going to go through the pockets to see if there's important documentation, which there was, birth certificates, you know, important stuff. What? Uh, I, I got you a beer. What you, no, I can't drink. Oh, yes, you can. No, not at this hour. Oh, yes, you can. No. <laughs> yes, you can. Doesn't go well with my Xanax. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. So she's saying that there were no ashes. There absolutely were ashes that uh, this girl's supposed to, you know, take somewhere that I guess meant something and uh, disperse them. Now they're in my fire pit because dummy didn't go through the friggin' uh, uh, pockets or did and and uh, was being uh, vindictive and threw them in, in the fire pit and burned them anyway. Girl, scorn girl plus fire. Equals, you know, you're talking some left eye crap here. Left eye did that. Burnt the guy's house down. There were ashes in there. There were of her grandfather. You burnt them. You put them in, in uh, the fire pit and took away her opportunity to, uh, you know, have that moment where she gets to disperse the ashes of a, a loved one uh, because you're a, a, a jealous uh, dummy. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, I'll get to that. No ashes. And what does that have to do with anything? Where he's from? So what? If you're from somewhere, you're not allowed to friggin' have your ashes sprinkled in another country? That's the lamest excuse I ever heard. And the laptop ended up with no wires, no attachment, no nothing. Because, again, she decided, you know, not to check, not to pull things out of bags, not to... You know, maybe if you went through the pockets, you'd have seen a birth certificate and not burned that, knowing that people need these things, especially when they're trying to travel uh, between two countries. Good job, dummy. You just made it so she had to stay here longer so I could have sex with her more. <laughs> Jackass. She'd have been gone. <laughs> oh. Anyways, on to the future and over with the past. I really appreciate the email. Have a great day, Jill. So these are the uh, emails she's sending out. Um, I just couple of couple of words for um, hedge fund manager Joseph D. Virgilio. Oh boy! I just got a couple of words for him. Jim, you want to go get a couple coffee? of things? Jim and I are going to get some coffee. Couple of things I'd like to. Um... <laughs> Why you guys? Why is your hand? Uh, I I think you're finally paying me back for all the times I made you uncomfortable over the years. Go ahead, Andy. The floor is yours. And by the way, yeah, she should have known before the party that things were a little amiss when she found another girl's bra in my bathroom. You know, that's kind of a. What'd she think or say? What's this bra doing in the bathroom? And what'd you say? I told her whose it was. Mm-hmm. And that, uh, you know, she was staying there and keeping some stuff here, which she was. I didn't tell her the part about, you know, you know sex stuff. Did you say, that, were, you, were you actually open, like, yeah, she's staying at the house? Yeah. Can yeah. I, can, I don't know if I, can I ask a question? I'm scared, though. Feel free. Um, I'll, I'll talk vaguely, and then you say, uh, uh, virus show? Mm-hmm. Uh, and maybe, hold on. Hmm. Let me think. Virus show. Good, good. Let me see. This. Uh, oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we gave her, uh, we gave her a ride home. 
The girl Me, that you're... Keith, Jill, and and yeah, and the girl, and the girl uh, yeah. for the, from the PNC show. We're all in your Escalade after the yeah. virus show. Uh huh. And Jill had no clue that that was the girl you were actually possibly with at this point. I don't know. Uh yeah, yeah, she had no clue. <laughs> You know, Ronnie said it yesterday when I did the crossover with him on the on the corner. He yeah. Knows that Anthony's uh, living Guns N' Roses. <laughs> Guns N' Roses. <laughs> Guns N' Roses. He sums it up with that. He goes, Anthony's living Guns N' Roses. Ronnie's a genius. So. <laughs> <laughs> How do you pull that one off? After the virus show, you got your, quote, girlfriend and the girl you're banging in the same car. And, and Jill has no uh, no clue at that point. I uh, always, always um, uh, show my ex-girlfriend, uh, my, uh, you know, either new girlfriend or who I'm having sex with sure, or very sure. close friend. Sure. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll always give them a little show yeah. of who that is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, so you had something uh, for oh, the hedge fund guy. Yes, the hedge fund uh, manager, uh, Joseph D. Virgilio. Um, oh, boy. Well, where do I start? First, I hope uh get one of those um get one of those uh, things that go under your sheets uh to cover up your mattress. What do you mean? Like well, you know, if you ever have a a a, a child and and you, they go from the uh, crib to the bed, you might want to put something under there. Um you know, to protect the mattress from any staining. She takes these goddamn pills that keep the fat from digesting. Like, you know, because she doesn't want it to gain weight. So there's like these pills that keep fat from, from digesting. So it goes right through you. It's not absorbed in your body. It goes right through you. So if she eats a lot of stuff with a lot of fat in it, she takes a lot of more more of these of these uh you know fat go through your pills, and then she goes to bed, and a certain part of her 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 body uh will leak because that fat that isn't absorbed in the body has to come out somewhere, and it comes out the normal place, but. It is like I guess I guess that isn't a water real good watertight seal. So I woke up one morning and I swear it looked like someone overturned a pizza on my sheets. It was nothing but this yellowish grease a grease stain all over my sheets. Grease stain came out of there and 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 soaked into my bed sheets, and it did. It looked like you ever you ever take a napkin and blot the grease from pizza, dude. It was exactly like that, only spread out the size of. It was probably about two feet wide. Yeah, yeah, and about. Two feet long, like a, a roundish thing of two feet diameter, all all over her side of the bed on the sheets. And this happens more than once, believe me. So, uh, dude, um, you know you might want you might want to get some uh, cheap sheets. What's the product called? Ally or something yeah. like that? Is it Ally? Yeah. And yeah. there's a warning that says on the warning on the package that says bring extra clothes to work. Yeah, it's that new uh, drug they approved over the counter, the Zenical, the over the counter version, and right there on the package you can buy it in all the drug stores. And yeah, it does work, but it does warn you when you start using it, you have to bring extra clothes. Extra at clothes all because you'll leak into your clothes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that was wow, all over my sheets. I woke up and I was like, whoa, whoa, and believe me, that took one activity that I really like doing right out of the picture <laughs> making clan hoods <laughs> all right, uh, I, I guess that's all right oh uh, they're calling her Jill Nicoliki <laughs> oh boy there it is 
Oh, there it is on Pal Talk. Jim's head is now in the crook of his arm. He's leaned over the back of his chair. He can't even look at what's going on. Jill Nicoliki. <laughs> Man, people saying maybe that's why the dry cleaning was five hundred dollars. <laughs> ah. And the wow. reason you're spilling this today is because she spilled it on my mattress. There you go. I uh, no, it, it's uh, it's just it's it. I don't like being uh, presented as as a liar. I I'm being completely honest here on this program. That's what I do. I was honest in saying that I was a uh, you know a d- douche uh, for doing what I did. It was douchey. To be in a relationship and and mislead somebody like that, I understand that completely. But the reaction, uh, wow, kind of crazy. And you got to do something about those goddamn implants. Oh boy, but that's sorry. No, they look great with clothes on, dude. Yeah. Here you go. You, if you want, you want to try this at home. You might want to try this at home. Uh, Halloween's coming up. Ooh, I yeah. like Halloween. Yeah. Go to a costume store mm-hmm. and get one of those caps that uh, the baldy caps. You know those things. You know the bald caps. You put them on your head and it looks like you you're got a skin head. Get a couple of those. Now, um, go to any gravel pit. And throw uh, some rocks in them. <laughs> now hold them up to your chest and touch. There you go. There you go. Jimmy's hand is over his mouth. His eyes are as wide as I've ever seen them before. Well, because he just saw the traffic. Uh, there's an oil spill on the LIE today. and uh, Oh, Jesus, an oil slick? Yeah. What must have happened? And we have uh, listeners that are trying to take the LIE into Manhattan today, so Jimmy's concerned about our listeners getting through the oil slick. Yeah. There's an oil spill in my bed. Yeah. A pillow skidded off, hit the floor. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God damn. There's all kinds of stuff. High maintenance. Jesus Christ. Enough. It's called time. Deal with it. Friggin' t- 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 lipo pincushion. Tyler Durden could have made soap for the world out of what they must have sucked out of that. Stop it. Stop it already. Am I done? Hey, who wants ice cream? Oh, boy. I hear the ice cream's uh, done. I don't think I'll be, I'll be having any breast milk ice cream. Breast milk ice cream after the break. Hmm. I think that's... Uh, here, you, you sure you don't want this beer? Well, that, that was my... That was... No, no. No? That was my uh, return. That was my, you know, when the ball came over to my side of the net. That was my return. Now, we'll see. If anything gets fired back at me, maybe I could come up with a couple of more things. I'm sure I can if I think about it for a split second. How could there be something worse? Don't screw with me. Don't lie. Don't lie. I paid you $1,000 to get back a broken laptop that that you uh, uh, looked into illegally. After stealing and an easy pass, I paid a thousand dollars to you because you told me that's what you needed, that's what you wanted. A thousand dollars, uh, uh, blackmail money, whatever you want to call it, extortion. Well, what it is? What kind of crime is that? 
Well, well, it's a felony to illegally search somebody's hard drive. It, it, it is. It's, a, it's a felony to illegally search someone's hard drive. You could have yes. went to the authorities with this. So. It's like going through uh, their yeah. mail or anything sure, else. Sure, sure. Uh, it's 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 not. Uh, but but no, it's not. It's not about calling the police into this. I don't do that. I don't play like that. I uh, you know. I don't know why she likes wine so much. Maybe she's using the cork uh, at night. To keep that thing shut. <laughs> All right. You know. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, Are you insane? No. I'm completely sane. Can you do me one favor? My bed needs a dipstick. <laughs> I'm a quart low. Could you stay the night? <laughs> Jimmy's hiding. Jimmy's just hiding. What did you think that was? Because you can't. I, yeah, I, I, I tried to put it out of my head, <laughs> dude. I tried to put it out of my head. It was so upsetting. You know how I am. You probably. I, I threw a couch away because a kid wiped a booger on it. Just imagine what uh, you know. Well, grease spilling out of a tailpipe is. Well, how drunk you get? You probably thought I must have had pizza. I just must have had pizza, and I, I don't remember. Thought, I thought because there are times I had e eaten in bed. You know. Food, food. Oh, and, and and I thought perhaps uh, some uh, marinara had spilt or something. I thought I don't know. I couldn't have, dude. On a list of what the hell is that? <laughs> what it was yeah. was number six billion thirty eight million two hundred fifty two thousand and seven. There were any anything before what it was. Did it get discussed at all? Did what? It, was it talked about? Yes, it was talked about. She told me exactly what it was, what it's from. And I was just like, oh, all right, great. I'm sleeping with the Exxon Valdez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Holy moly. <laughs> exactly. Um, I, had a, I had a wash off ducks uh, when I woke up in the morning. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> and I was told by other people, um, like uh, her friends and stuff, that, uh, oh boy, there she is. Mm. Uh-oh. <laughs> she, she, she knows something's up. <laughs> she knows something's up. Hey, look at that. How's the traffic on the Hershey Highway? <laughs> All right, you know. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. She knows something's up. I could tell. She's overly laughing and happy. I would love to see what goes on during spots. Maybe that studio. Maybe she's happy because she's got her, uh, her, uh, you know, extra clothes with her. No, she's getting ready for her to serve something back. Yeah. I'll tell you, good. Yeah. She's talk too about, happy today. Talk about my peace. She's too happy today. <laughs> Whatever you want to talk about. Um, <laughs> ultimate side parking, in effect. It's the big P, letter P with, with the circle and the slash through it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> That's the sign. <laughs> uh, never mind. Yeah, well, I think they can make that it's, joke at home. That's an easy one. Jimmy's trying to get to his happy place. Yeah. Of all the dramatic things I've ever seen. Uh, let's see. Mm. She's uh, l filling up Molotov cocktails for Anthony's house. Yeah. <laughs> um, Anthony, can you do me a, one favor? Yes. You got to be done with the letter J. The oh. letter, the letter J in you is not good. Oh, let me see. Yeah. It, oh, really? Well, think the letter J. G G G G G. Yeah, <laughs> and now J. Yeah, J yeah. Letter J, uh, not that good. Take that out of your alphabet, please. Not that good. Goodness gracious! Oh. Of all the dramatic things I've ever seen. Oh God! Are you... Grease is the word. Is the word? Have you heard? <laughs> enough. When stuff like that starts happening, enough. Just stop it already, right? Stop. Stop it. What are you gonna do? She gets very bloated too and, and passes wind a lot. Get out of here. In bed. Yeah. 
Many a night I'd be up and you get the rollover in here. <laughs> well, it's got to, you know, have a nice smell at least, right? Yeah. <sighs> Right, another set of sheets in the garbage. Oh, oh no, that wasn't. Jeez, uh... I really didn't need that. I. Goodness gracious! Of all the dramatic things I've ever seen. Yeah, that's uh, that, that's terrible. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was. Here's me when I woke up in the morning. I woke up like like uh, Walt <laughs> in The Godfather. <laughs> God. <laughs> Jesus, I was ready to trade my bed in for a glass table, <laughs> sleep under it <laughs> with Chuck Berry. Yeah, Jesus, wring my sheets out into my gas tank. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do in these days of high gas prices. <laughs> oh, dude. Wow, wow. That's, a, that's a hell of a story there. Yeah, well, that was... I guess you got pushed, huh? Yeah. This was a lot I of, did! There's a lot of stuff you were holding back. You didn't hey, even... dude, I never mentioned it, and I never would have. But, I, you know, it's her sending out these uh, emails with <laughs> self-lubricating. You didn't... <laughs> you, didn't um, you didn't even tell us. No, I wouldn't have said anything like that. You didn't it's even tell us, like, dude, I got... Horribly embarrassing. Something. Yeah. It's just, uh, you know, when I, I see these fabrications in, uh, you know, I see these fabrications in, in emails, it's crazy. Should we take a break? Yeah. Mm? We better. What? We're like a half hour late for a break. Yeah. We can continue after the break. It was good. I had self-lubricating pool motor uh, uh, on my pumps for my pool, too. She would go for a swim. You won't hear a squeak out of those motors. <laughs> Although I had a... <laughs> I had to put up those uh, pontoons, though, to keep the slick in one spot. <laughs> Pulling clogged, gilled, dead fish out of my skimmers. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh. oh, that's good. A couple of dirty words in that song. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. the S word and the T word. Oh, well. well what are you that have? John Travolta is a regular potty mouth. He sure is. Well, with that, that's uh, that's that's our cue to take a break. All yeah, right. we'll take a break, uh, yeah. see what happens. We might want to go to the phones. They are just lit. Yeah. Back to the number one national story, Ant Dumps Leakster. <laughs> uh, let's say hi to Eddie. Eddie! Yeah. Hey. Hey, I was wondering if uh, Joe Michelini is going to do what's the splat instead of what's the All right, the you know. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Joe in wow. Jersey. Joe. Anthony, rant made me feel like I watched a woman get raped and not say anything about it. Hmm. I was just speaking the truth, sir. Uh, something that was not done in uh, Russian Malloy and something that was not done in uh, Jill's email that is going out to people. So I just wanted to... Uh, clear the air, and uh, you know, th 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 tell tell people the truth. Here's how it is. All right, let's go to Bobby in Boston. Bobby, hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, there, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Hey, I uh, just wanted to tell Anthony, man, you have made my ride into work, man, the most uncomfortable day ever. <laughs> <laughs> and you're by yourself, right? I'm by myself, man. I had my hand over my mouth for about 15 minutes. Just could not believe that. So. Isn't, isn't, <laughs> the truth hurts. Isn't that the worst when I you're just, so uncomfortable and you're by yourself? So you're uh, like, why am I uncomfortable? No one, <laughs> no one else is with me here. 
Here's what I, I would have needed to. What was going on. Here's what I would have needed to shout out those stains. No. Good goodness gracious. No, not quite. Shout it out. No. No. Shout it out. No. Oh, still there. Just let me. <laughs> um, well, I, I meant uh, the, I, that was I was trying to, but then the wrong bank, and then I I don't know. Oh, Sometimes uh, you know. Oh. I like turtles. Yeah, so do I. We all like turtles. We just wanted to go away. Let's say hi to Dad. Uh, let's say hi to Jill's uh, cousin, uh, Rob in Jersey. What? <laughs> <laughs> Rob. Hey, well, how you doing? All right, Rob. Uh, Anthony's definitely out for the cousin grab bag this Christmas. Oh. Oh, boy. I thought I'd still be in for that. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, right. this is not, this is not ending well. No, no, it's not. It's like this very, uh, nasty, uh, ending to this whole thing. Uh, thank you, Rob, but Keith the Cop is on, line. on the line. It says, I definitely want to be on the effing radio. Yeah. Keith the Cop, everyone. Anthony's boyfriend. Yeah. I, if... <laughs> Keith. Gotta, hey, Keith. I gotta say to start off that this, this is really cutting into my regular job and my sleep pattern. <laughs> yeah, you're not I even get, supposed to be awake. That I get woken up at, at so early in the morning when I just get to bed at like six o'clock. Uh, Keith, I would like to read uh, one thing from uh, this, and I, I then want your your comment uh, comments on it. Absolutely. Uh, Jill talks about burning of the clothes, and says, as for burning of the clothes, Keith was there. And thought it was brilliant. L O L. So now she's she's implying that you were there when she was burning these clothes. And I got to the house that morning. Mm -hmm. She was pulling out of the driveway. Right. And waved as she was leaving the house. Mm -hmm. I then walked in, walked outside, and saw the bonfire. At which point, I believe I immediately called you. Yeah. And said, mm -hmm. uh, "Yeah, there's a little bit of a bonfire in the backyard." Hey, hey, yeah, hey. I was I was instantly upset because I thought uh, my Shelby had a transmission leak on the driveway after she left. Uh, but <laughs> but no. <laughs> hey, as an eyewitness, Keith, how big was the fire? We, we've never heard this part. It's a good. It was a good eight foot flame. Eight oh, feet in the right. air. This thing was got and and so Keith. She was leaving. She actually like waved goodbye from the vehicle. That's she was out. She was leaving. So how was she there, Keith? There and uh, saying it was you know whatever she said. Right. And just so she uh, she understands is that the reason that she was at the house while you were on the radio was that I suggested that she go to the house while you're on the radio. Because I know how Mr. Kumi doesn't like confrontation, and if she had everything out of the house already, well, then boom, nice and easy. Right. We cleaned it up the way it needed to be cleaned up, and we move on in life. Yeah. Well, so, apparently that didn't uh, go well. No. Uh, you know, and then to, for her to even insinuate that I, I tried to offer a dollar or whatever it is that I'm yeah. paying for the, the things, it, that, you know... At no point do I think that my loyalty to Mr. Cumia never questioned. radio show ever needs to be in question. Never questioned. You gave her $1,000 for a laptop as as and I, an easy pass. As soon as I walked in the door. And by the way, how much am I going to have to pay you for it? Can I have it back? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, wait, wait. oh, you wanted that back? Yes, I need my easy pass. I'm tired of the cash lanes. <laughs> I have the easy pass. I have another Cadillac of yours, and uh, also. Oh yes, you do. That's right. He took my car, and now he's got my stuff. Jesus! Why does everyone get to use your stuff? I don't know. <laughs> <What's wrong with laughs> everyone just gets to use your stuff. He won't leak on the seat, though, which is good. All right, All right Keith. Look, um, it, it's almost who gives a crap at this point, but we have to move on to the breast milk ice cream. Yes. Okay. We were All right, going we to do about an hour on this. Instead, now it's just a quick sample, and you, then we get out of here. You stopping by later, Keith? Yes, I will be there in a few hours. All I'll right. We got Very a, good, sir. We got a party going on at the at the house this that. weekend? Dude, I told you, uh, 11 o'clock mm -hmm. on Friday, party starts. Mm -hmm. Party ends mm -hmm. sometime Sunday night. Mm -hmm. And the whole weekend, uh, it's going to be a rain party this weekend because it's going to be sure. raining. 
So mostly indoors, but uh, uh, yeah, we'll be hanging. And Jimmy and I will get the invite one of these days. Uh, you have an open invite. Now know that, where the house is. Now, anytime. Now that, come next week. Yeah.